today and we're going to have a game of F1 GP circuits for the Commodore 64 and this is a game request uh, by KC on YouTube um, right um, this is a racing game a Formula 1 racing game hence F1 GP circuits it's not Grand Prix circuits by the way this is a completely different game um, basically this game came out in 1991 very late into the Commodore 64's life let's just push fire because um, just realized I have had a test run of it and there's a lot and lots of multi-load involved in this believe me <laughs> it's not as bad as some of them I play but it's bad enough if you know what I mean um, I'm using a new emulator. Well, I wouldn't say it's new, but it's a different emulator. Because this one seems to be okay. It doesn't give me no issues. Um, it's called Hoaxus, or I just Hoax 64. Um, it was recommended by Stefano Pavoni. Oh. <laughs> um, and he recommends it. Right, okay. So here we've got a choice of four cars. So we can choose the Ferrari and McLaurin, obviously McLaren. Obviously they can't use the real names. William, <laughs> Williams obviously. And Layhouse, Layton House. Um, so let's pick the McLaurin. <laughs> <coughs> so engines are V8. As far as I remember in 19, if it's based on the 1991 series, nah, Formula 1, because it came out in 91, so I'm just going with the 91, used a uh, Honda V12, uh, don't, know, don't matter anyway, Ferrelli, look at that, Ferrelli tyres, brakes week 1, let's just go with McLaren, so here we go, we can choose um, our driver, um, so we can, you've got obviously in nationality flags you can see there. So we see um, Austrian flag with Gerhard B, Gerhard Berger, um, an American. That can't be Ricard, Ricard P, Ricard P. I don't know, Ricard P. Uh, representing Great Britain is Nigel Mansell. Representing Brazil is Ayrton Senna. And representing Italy is Ivan Capelli. Representing France is Alain Prost. Pepe M. Uh, I don't know, I've never heard of Pepe M. Um, and Thierry Bootsen representing Belgium. Oh, Pepe M representing Spain. I was looking at the flag. Of course, it's fucking Spain, isn't it? <laughs> fucking idiot. But who is Pepe M? Never heard of him. So let's just go with Nigel Mansell. And you can rename it if you want. But we're not going to bother. We'll try and get into the game. So now we've got more multi load. And the worst is still to come. Because we have to swap discs. This is a two disc. Um, game. I just hate to imagine what the cassette version must have been like. Well, I've had some. Here we go. We'll switch the discs. Uh, discs over. So we go to disc. Um, B. Then push fire. Yeah. So two disc game. This is. And I've used three Commodore 64 emulators now. Yes, there's a turbo button, and I just don't like using them turbo buttons because um, if you use a turbo button to speed up the loading or speed up, it, well, it don't just speed up the loading; it speeds up the entire emulator, and you can't slow it down in time. You know, slow it down, the game starts. You're fucked. That's why I don't bother putting it on warp mode or anything like that. So here we are. This doesn't really do me nothing. I don't think you can set your car up or anything. If you just push fire, and it just goes. And loads a bit more um, yeah 
None of these features seem to speed up loading hardly. Right, so this tells us we're going to be racing in the United States. So we've got to qualify first, and we've got more to load. Uh, God. Yes. We spend more time loading in this game than anything else. And it does this, and it stops. Actually, it doesn't stop. I thought, when I was testing this, I thought it crashed. But it's not crashed. Actually, it's still disk accessing. And you have to wait. What annoys me about the Commodore 64 emulators, and I've used three, um, and I've also, I use a lot of emulators, including Amstrad emulators, Obviously the disk emulation ain't, well the disk, because the disk emulation is actually going what the actual disk speed was on the actual Commodore 64. I know the Amstrad was no way as slow, it was quite quick at disk accessing. But why the fuck do you have to emulate the disk, the disk accessing? You should be able to skip that, you should have an option where you can just, right, okay, you don't have to load, wait, sit here and wait for it to load. They do it spectacular. You don't have to wait for that to load. That's got, you know, you've got tape um, uh, emulation. You can actually wait for the tape to load, or you can click this button, quick load, and it goes straight into the game. Don't have to wait for it to load. So why couldn't they implement this with the Commodore 64 emulators? I'm sure it can be done. If it can be done on the Spectrum, it can be done on the Commodore 64 and Amstrad, so on and so on, because the same with the Amstrad. You still have to wait. There's no quick load, even though the disc was pretty quick on the Amstrad. And I think there's other emulations out there I've used. You still, even the Amiga, okay, you can speed the Amiga up, the Win8 UAE. You can speed the disc um, emulation up, but why can't you just skip all that and just go straight into the game? Why does everything have to be emulated? The reason why we play on these emulations is because we just want to play the game. We don't want to sit through disc loading. If I wanted to sit through disc loading, I would get my Commodore 64 out and buy a disc drive if I can. If I wanted to sit through disc accessing and all that. What's the point of emulating that as well? Oh, by the way, it hasn't crashed. We're still waiting. Uh, if only if they can create an option. Right, we don't. Hey! Enough of Right. So, first of all, we've got to qualify. And we, it's like an arcade style game because we've got high and low gears by just pushing the fire button. quite enjoy playing the game once it's loaded. Finally when it gets loaded it is a good game to play. Um, I, I think you also got to make pit stops in this. Um, it's a look down, obviously you can see it's a look down game, bird's eye view game, but so we're coming up to the pit so this is just a qualifying lap. So we did it in 44.8 seconds. Wow, that's quick. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got to sit through this. So if you push your fire button, you can make it go quicker. And that knife sounds like the beaker from the abstract CPC. I wonder how they implemented it into a Commodore 64. Right, so now we're racing. Oh, yeah, we're getting a shit start, aren't we? Fucking accelerate, it's well slow. Obviously there's no turbo button in this game, I don't think anyway, because fire button um, changes the gears, fucking hell, but you can sustain damage. So you can hear that beeping, I think we've sustained damage. So might be able to make a pit stop. Sebastian Vettel will be there. Right. Oh, I couldn't make it in the pit. 
so I'll probably have to pick on my next time round. Fucking hell, I'll definitely have to pick now. So, right, tyres, engine, chassis, brakes, tyres, it's just tyre, tyre, fuel, tyre. Obviously, do we have to wait or can I just go? Well, obviously, you can tell that's not real time at the pits, can you? And we're in 14 position, so. Let's go. Why can't I go? Uh, why can't I go? What am I waiting for? Oh, because you've got to um, click them, I guess. Oh, come on. So you got... Oh, that's just wasted me a lot of time, that is. Oh, see, that pit stop didn't go too well. Yeah, so, object... Well, obviously, the object of the game is... You race other cars. It's a racing game. Consider I made a lengthy pit stop. Please wait. Here comes the Amstrad beeper. So I come eighth. That's not too bad. Didn't score any points. Obviously, only went up to six, six place points back in the day, didn't it? So this couldn't have been based on 1991 because. The points system changed then, I think it was 10 points for a win. 1990 was the last time we had 9 points for a win, I think. Um, now we've got to sit here for more fucking loading. Now we'll sort this. Oh, we can go to the shop. So we can go to shop. Let's go, let's, let's go shopping. Oh, you fucking bastard. Turn the disc over. Right, attack discs. Hmm. No hard drives back in the day. So I do miss about hard drives. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about disc swapping and all that. 
Well, that was part of the experience. Well, in my case, I didn't have discs for my Commodore 64. I had cassettes, so <laughs> it was even more of an experience having cassettes. But that's what I was used to. Can't complain. And just had to flip the cassette over, <laughs> wind it back, wind it forwards, whatever. Resetting the ca cassette counter to know exactly where you are. Oh God Almighty! I'll tell you what. I, I am certainly did not, wouldn't have missed owning that disc drive back in the day for the Commodore 64. I can't remember what it's called now. Is it the 1502 or something like that? I know I'm going to get slated from the Commodore 64 group for not knowing that, but I didn't have one. I just used tapes. Yeah. God oh my fucking come on. Spend I tell you as literally you spend more time waiting for this game to load than playing the fucking thing. I I, I think the game's good, but what lets it down is all this fucking multi-load. It's typical isn't it? typical in it. You get a good game to play and it's fucking multi-load. Well not all of them are multi-load. I played a lot of, lots and lots of good games for the Commodore 64. Uh, was it really necessary to have multi-load though? And this is from a floppy disk image. Fucking hell, this is taking ages to fucking load. A fucking tape would have probably Maybe it would have just was just as quick on turbo load. You're taking the fucking piss and you know, turn the fucking disc over. Now what the fuck's happened? Do I turn the disc over or not? Was that a glitch? Let's do what he says. This be right. No, something's fucked up. I've turned the disc over, let's see what happens. Don't tell me it's full after all that it crashed. Just just bear with me, just bear with me, see if it's fucking crashed. Looks like we ain't gonna go shopping if it's bloody crashed. <sighs> For fuck's sake. such a shame if it has crashed because that is a good game but as I said you're spending more time waiting for the fucking thing to load than playing it this really lets the game down I can't fault the game I mean the game was good the game is good I can't fault the game itself I wonder if it came out on any other system I mean, if it's full of Commodore 64, surely it must be been out for the Amstrad, the Spectrum, even the Amiga. I'd like to give them versions a go. And I'll bet you any money you don't have to wait for it to load up as long. No way, I'll bet you. But it'll, take, it'll be a lot quicker, I bet you. Ah, it looks like it has fucking crashed. Fucking typical, fucking typical, isn't it? Let's try to change the disc. No, it looks like it's fucking crashed. There's no, what is there, an option on this emulator? We can speed the fucking thing up, can we speed the emulator? It looks like uh, it's crashed, it's fucking crashed. Fucking hell. Well, you saw what the game's like. I'd like to have seen what that shop's like, but I, we ain't going to be able to see that. But I have to say the game is good to play. The graphics looked good. Um, sounds fun to play. And now it's totally fucked up because it's crashed. What a fucking selfish bastard you are, you fucking... That thing's an emulator fault. But then again, who knows? 
I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time and goodbye.